Today, I'm figuring out what is going on with this engine. If you watched the last episode, you'll notice it smoked a lot. Welcome to the channel and welcome to the Jeep. Let's get started. Alright guys, so in the previous episodes you will see that we had a massive smoking issue with this Jeep, a misfiring issue and just general piece of crap engine. For some odd reason, something is wrong with this engine and I started to tear it apart. So I'm busy taking off the head at the moment. So all I've left to do now is just to undo all the bolts on the head and take it off. And I suspect that we have an issue with this head. So I need to take it off to see what's going on. In the front you will see it's a mess. Oil is everywhere and it's all because of that high pressure pump that leaked oil. I found a lot of mistakes just undoing everything on this engine. It looked like somebody else got to it first and they just put it together to sell it probably. And I've mentioned that before because I saw on the engine mounts that the engine mounts were loose. So anyways enough talking, let's get this head off and see what was going on here. Okay, <laughs> that was a workout on its own. So everything should be loose now. I'm going to pull off the head with the turbo, um, just because it's a hassle to undo all of that. And hopefully it will just come off and not struggle too much. That thing weighs a lot. Anyways, it's out and let's assess the damage. Okay guys, this is bad. I thought it's the head. It's not, it's the pistons. Let me show you. So this is number one piston, which is fine. I'm gonna turn the engine over to get number five to the top. And then I'm gonna try and get some more light on this. Okay, right, so there is number five. I don't know if you guys can see this, but that piston is cooked. Number four is okay, number three is okay, number two is okay, number one is okay. So the guys that actually followed this whole season of this Jeep knows that number five was my issue. It was overfueling like crazy and I couldn't fix it with injectors. I tried everything and I just couldn't fix it. So that is the issue. So now I'm gonna quickly clean off the pistons using a wire brush and then just see if I can see where the arrows point to and if these things have been installed the right way. Needless to say, this block needs to be disassembled and either rebuilt or replaced. Um, I would actually like to keep the diesel in the Jeep. I think this is a very good engine for the Jeeps. I do have a backup there. But I don't want to use it for this Jeep. I want to use it on something else. Anyways, let me check the direction of the pistons and see if the installation was correct. Okay, I can't make out if there's an error or not. But I did clean it up with the wire brush quickly and that's just some of the damage on this piston. They normally look quite a lot better than that. So anyways, I will have to take out that piston, probably all of them and have that block measured up or I can get another block sub-assembly and just throw it in 
But first, let's go look at the heads. So on my ground table, I've got my head. The head gasket actually looks okay for now. But I won't reuse it, obviously. Um, the valves I'll test to see if they were leaking or not. Quite easy to do. But yes, I will have to double check all of them. There's already a lot of carbon build up here at number 5. And there is something not lacquer there. Hold on. Okay, just clean this up quickly. So this is number 5. And that's number 4, 3, 2, 1. As you can see, let's look at number 3. You see these indentations? That's the spray pattern actually burning away the aluminium on the head. You'll see this at number 2 as well. Number 1's got a little bit less. Number 4's got some. Number 5. Almost nothing that I can see. But if you look at this valve here, there is something damaging on the head, on the valve lap itself. I think that is probably not closing properly, and that is the exhaust side. So I feel like the exhaust gases are not, well, it's not sealing. So, what's next? Um, I'll have to do the valve test. I have to take off the manifold and the turbo, do the valve test, and take it from there. Okay, guys, so this is a shorter video because it's only an update of what I would find once I stripped this engine. I took the plunge, I stripped it, and now it's up to getting this stuff and trying to fix this bad boy and see if it can be fixed for a good price or relatively if I can even find the parts anyways guys thank you for watching if you want to follow this project Jeep please make sure to hit the subscribe button the bell button and give this video a thumbs up thank you guys keep safe Cheers.